Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I am Saadi Islam, and uh, the presentation topic that Mel assigned to me is a protein database that is called Procide. What Procide is is actually it is a protein database that consists of entries describing the protein families, domains which are the conserved parts, and functional sites as well as the patterns of amino acids and profiles in them. The use of Procide includes identifying the functions of a newly discovered protein and also to analyze a protein that was uh, whose function was previously undetermined. Procide often uh, uh, offers tools for protein sequence analysis and also motif detection. This was created um, or released in 1988 by uh, Berok. So um, when you uh, um, open this uh, uh, protein database, you come to this home page. As you can see here, in the right side, there are four options for browsing, uh, either by documentation entry, either by protocol description, either by taxonomic scope, or either by number of positive hits. Hits, positive hits means uh, protein matches, and a taxonomic scope means uh, what kind of uh, classification does a protein belong to, like archaea, virus, eukaryota, etc. And uh, a pro rule description actually, um, a pro what a pro rule description is that uh, it consists of rules which gives uh, additional um, um, information uh, about a protein about uh, its uh, biologically important residues like active sites uh, post translational modification sites about the cofactors uh, mm, disulfide bridges and so many things in order to determine function etc and by documentation entry like you can um, mention name of any protein like uh, trypsin uh, etc in the search bar, either it's a protein name or it's a domain name or if it's, it's a motif name. So uh, we go for the motif name, for example, it's zinc finger. Zinc finger. When we search for um, the zinc finger, we are going to have a list of domains uh, or domain profiles profiles you can click on any of the domains in order to get further information about it for example if it's um, the second uh, domain ARF GTPs so we will click on this and let's see what we get here we have got the description and what a description tells you is what it is what kind of function does it have what kind of structure does it have and why it is important and uh, things like that so uh, here uh, there is an another option which is called domain architecture we was fish proteins mention um, this particular um, uh, protein which is ps50115 um, this is actually ARFGT based activated protein so we will click on this and as a result of it it will actually um, give us uh, um, at least one match to this particular protein that we had entered um, with already um, present motifs uh, uh, in the Procite uh, database so here this is the button this is the extension button for example there are four proteins with the domain CMPH, ARF, GAP etc and it says that there are four further proteins so in order to um, um, uh, visu visualize those four proteins you are going to click on this uh, extension um, option and you will um, get these four proteins for example if you want to get the architecture view of this protein we will go for view image and view image and you are going to uh, get this particular image where the, these uh, domains are, are present 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 uh, and if you want to scan uh, in order to see if this protein sequence has any match to the already present motifs in the prosite uh, so it means that we have got a protein sequence uh, right here 
right here this is the protein sequence and we are going to scan it and before that um, the um, um, uh, terms for uh, input is that it must be a uniprot kb accession um, or, or like uh, there is an example this or uh, in entrokinase uh, a human and pdb identifiers like this and sequences in faster format all right and um, in the uh, uh, second option if you want to exclude motifs or exclude profiles you can do to bring any change through this option and uh, the kind of result that you want to get is depends upon you for example if you want a graphical view simple view text view in the form of faster or whatever it is so if you want it in the form of faster we will click on faster and we will start the scan This is the faster format and it uh, it's uh, telling us about the 8 hits in one sequence. It means that there was one protein sequence in which there were 8 hits means 8 protein images. Uh, means that uh, or to, or the already present made motifs, the, this sequence uh, had matched to it and it was 8 times. 8 times. Besides, um, Besides, if you want to go to the home page, and uh, again uh, in the quick scan uh, mode of scan for site, you can uh, uh, write any protein match um, uh, uh, in faster format or, or anything. For example, if we have any sequence in the faster format like this, uh, we will copy it and paste it right here and um, uh, we will uh, scan it and as a result of the scan what are we going to get is get is um, uh, whether if this protein had a match to the already present motifs in the protein uh, database or not so it tells us that it found three hits in one sequence and the legend tells us uh, um, the uh, signs that it's for disulfide bridge this for active site this for other ranges and this for other sites um, This is one head and these are the other two heads so and here um, uh, there are options like horizontal scaling do not show text labels or um, do not show sites in hints do not show edges in hits um, um, so you can redisplay and you will get um, another result uh, uh, depending upon the options that you clicked here the higher higher score means uh, means that it was um, actually uh, a, go a good um, matching uh, a good sequence alignment so uh, this is it and the predicted features that we get from here is that it it, it, it has a domain that it has a disulfide it has an active site and etc for example if we get, go for the domain let's see what we get is So it, this uh, tells us that what kind of um, uh, domain and the position of the domain um, uh, which is being described and um, these domains are actually self-stabilizing and these are independent and uh, things like that. So this is it.